I'm on with Randy Berman. You've had some instant success since you got to UTSA after leaving uh, Cal. What's it been like for you? Um, the transition and uh, the way the program is set up is completely different. I mean, here at UTSA, we're, the whole program of athletics is uh, focused on winning championships, winning conference and all that. Our track team has won either indoor or outdoors 10 years in a row. This year we're going for 11. Um, and it's that environment every day from every group. It's the throwers, it's the jumpers, it's the distance the distance people, the vultures. Um, all, everyone working together to win conference, and that's the main difference between the two programs. Now, for a lot of people, they didn't get to see. Uh, two weeks ago, you were on ESPN, and, and uh, you got second. And yes, sir. It, it, it had to be an incredible feeling because, um, you know, just – Going uh, going to UTSA and having to kind of uh, uh, jumpstart your career again, you know, what's that been like? I mean, to be on ESPN, to have your name featured on the uh, right before the race started. Um, that was awesome. I mean, it was kind of new for me to be there, you know, and the camera's two feet away from me in my face the whole time, and I'm trying not to – don't know if I should make eye contact with the camera or what I'm supposed to do. Um, uh, but then seeing it on, uh, on ESPN was actually – really cool and seeing all the I didn't know that they knew that I won state and seeing Harlingen up there kind of just you know, makes me proud you know to be from the valley and be doing what I'm doing and representing the valley doing it how many times have you replayed it I mean I have to imagine you have it uh, DVR'd or, or T-bowed but you've got it I, I gotta imagine you've watched it a couple of times oh yeah especially that first uh that first weekend um it was like surreal just listening to them, the announcers are talking about me, like they know all this stuff about me. I don't even know stuff that I don't even know they knew about me. And um, it was crazy. It was cool. My brother recorded it and uh, got to see it on YouTube. Uh, both races are on YouTube. So that was cool to see. So all in all, how, how has uh, the season been for you? I know you, you, know, you talked about UTSA and, and winning championships, but for you, like how has it been for you? Uh, for me personally, it's been great. Um, my, uh, my track coach here is uh, Coach Adam Hudson, and uh, he's my hurdle coach, and he's a genius. And it's just kind of just doing whatever he tells me to do. No, uh, no hesitations, no second guessing anything. I trust him completely, and I mean, already my third meet in the season, which was Texas Relays, I uh, set a new lifetime best in the 400 hurdles, um, which when I was at Cal I wasn't doing until the end of the season. So. Uh, I'm I'm on track right now to do some big things, hopefully, if everything works out. And uh, I love it. I wish I would have came here sooner. That's my only regret that I didn't come here first out of high school. Now, I was going to ask you about that. When you went there, did you did they call you or did you call them? And did they know who you were right away? Like, did they go, oh, my God, um, I know this guy? Well, uh, Coach Hudson remembered me out of high school. He, him and I exchanged a couple of emails my senior year. Um, so he remembered me, and then um, I have a couple buddies on the team, uh, Jamarcus Shelvin and Jonas Gutierrez, who's from Wessico, and, um, you know, kind of put it in their head that I was looking at them and then uh, got my release from Cal. Uh, I was cleared to talk to the coach finally, and then I started talking to him and uh, he asked me about my times and all that kind of stuff, and now I'm here. So do they do they have a parade for you and everything when you got there? You, you know, at a high school, you were like a really big name. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, Coach Hudson always talks about that. Uh, I, I, that I didn't even come on a visit to UTSA, and you know, he teases me a little bit about that. But uh, <laughs> no, it's good. It's it's fun. It's I mean, I know Coach Hudson has coached her lead to nationals the past couple of years. My teammate Jamarcus went um, to nationals last year his junior season and this is his senior season and I'm just learning from him and from Coach Hudson, people that have been there and uh, learning from them as much as I can to hopefully get to that point this year. So looking at the rest of the season, how good can mm -hmm. you get? I mean, because, you know, I got to imagine, you know, you want to, you, you probably have goals that you've already set for as far as your times and where you want to yeah. be. At the end of the season, where do you want to be? Um, end of the season, hopefully, is at the Olympic trials. I mean, um, the initial standard was 49.4 for the 400 hurdles. 
but what they do is they, they drop the times accordingly. You know, if there's not enough people that run that time, then they kind of make the time a little bit more lenient. So now it's 49.5, and um, so for right, right now that's the goal, 49.5, so I can go and compete at the Olympic trials and uh, run with the best that uh, the world and the country has to offer here in the U.S. So hypothetically, if you did really well at the trial, would you be in Rio this summer? Uh, hypothetically, there, if I make it to the trials, there's a chance. I mean, uh, hurdles is one of those events where a guy in first can fall and then everything changes. And uh, the hurdles is probably the event with the most – room for error so anything can happen i can have my best day other people can have their worst and yeah there you go but um that's incredible it's just an opportunity just to be a compete at that stage with those kinds of athletes and you know see what it takes because there's guys that are running 47s and 48s and the 400 hurdles um and then being in that being the presence of that you know hopefully i can rise up a little bit and, and do something great but i gotta get i gotta get there first so so how does conference track look right now? I mean, uh, you know, it's kind of like what's right in front of you. How good is the team doing right now? Um, right now we're doing pretty – we're doing well. I mean, we have uh, – my teammate Jamarcus is leading the conference, and I'm right behind him in the phone to hurdles. Um, we have numerous leaders in the conference. One of our throwers had a conference leading mark this week. Um, we have a bunch of people fighting for spots uh, in the top three right now, and it's just kind of – changing back and forth and uh our hurdle group right now our throwers always do really well um our distance runners do really well and uh we're aiming to peak at conference so conference we have hopefully some some big jumps some surprises and everyone rises to the occasion i'm actually starting to long jump again to see if i can score in conference in that long jump this past weekend for the first time since high school so how'd you do uh, I did okay. I think I got sixth overall here at the meet. I jumped like, I don't know, it was something in meters, like 678 meters. So it's like 22, three years, something like that. Oh, wow. So uh, it was fun. I mean, it was my first time, like I said, doing it since high school. So coaches, coaches just kind of want to throw me in there and see what I can do and hopefully grab a couple extra points at conference just in case we need them. Okay, I'd be remiss if I didn't say this because a lot of people – are going to ask, did they ask, did anybody from the football program ask you to come out? Did they see your tape <laughs> from high school? Um, I'm not too sure. Um, I have, not that I, that I know of, no. Um, I've always, of course, as soon as everyone found out, I was, people from back home, I was going to TSA, automatically all the football questions started coming up. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty much done with football. Uh, I mean, if I could do it over again, I would, you know, tracks tracks the way to go. Um, football, especially all the stuff that's coming out right now with all the brain stuff and all that. And I'm not the biggest guy in the world either. So yeah. Um, well, but I mean, they just they just got a new staff. And the whole football program is uh, redone from top to bottom. So they just got a whole new staff. I know uh, one of my old teammates actually, Brandon Garza, um, looking at UCLA. Oh, yeah. He's at University of Houston right now, and he's a um, trying to be a walk-on uh he's waiting for the spring evaluation to come through and he's trying to be a part of the team uh there so i know they're looking at him and hopefully he gets a chance it's all it takes yeah that'll be interesting yeah yes, sir. um last question it's a very simple one like are you one of the elder statesmen there do they do people look at you i mean because you went to cal too do they look at you for uh is there any like leadership that people look at you and go, Hey, what, what would you uh, do? Um, uh, definitely. Um, I feel like because of my experience at a big, at a big school, you know, in a big conference, um, a lot of people didn't know at first, you know, that I, they thought I was a lot of people thought I was a freshman, um, last semester. And I kind of, I mean, I'm not trying to overstep the boundaries of the captains we have now, um, but when people do come to me, I do give them my advice. Um, recruits, uh, people in high school, I give them my honest opinion, and I just try to lead by example. I mean, a lot of people um, come into college thinking they can do the same stuff they did in high school and have it work for them. 
but college is completely completely different ball game and you have to buy into your coaches and you have to buy into your program uh you're not just going to survive on talent because everyone else is just as talented as you are and they're probably going to work as hard, work harder than you if you have a bad attitude towards it so you know what i lied one more question okay your family, <laughs> Go ahead. your family bunch of coaches you know mm-hmm. your dad your sister's coaching too right in laredo Yes, sir. She's the head coach at Alexander. Yeah. First year. Can we expect for you to be coaching in a couple of years? Is that what you um, um, at, at first, that's what I had, had uh, thought I wanted to do. Um, and it's still my second option right now. But first, um, I'm majoring in criminal justice, and I want to go that route first and um, see what I can make of that. I'm, I'm right now looking at uh, – DPS, um, potentially state, or I I have a cousin that works for um, ICE or maybe go federal government side. Um, I haven't decided yet. I still have one more year left. Um, So I'm taking some classes to see kind of which would I love. I mean, I love the criminal justice field so far, and um, I know coaching I'd love to. So it just kind of depends where I see myself in a year and how the criminal justice stuff is going and what kind of opportunities I'll have. So if you do become a, a criminal or a, a, a cop or a DPS, are you going to use the car or are you just going to chase after people on foot? <laughs> I always, I always get teased about that. Uh, if someone ever uh, runs away from me, they, they'll get a rude awakening probably when they find out that I'm going to catch them. <laughs> well, Hey man, I appreciate you taking, I know you got a busy day, but I appreciate you taking the time to uh, take this interview. No, yes, sir. No problem. Anytime.